assistive devices like wheelchairs or prosthetic devices for the arm or legs are not satisfactory, are not functional enough. So we thought, let's organize an event where the best research labs come together, present their newest developments and are further motivated to develop and, and showcase the best technologies. My name is Robert Riener, I'm a professor of robotics and I'm also the initiator and organizer of the Cybathlon. The Cybathlon is the first event of its kind. It's the first competition for people with disabilities who are allowed to use robotic devices, any kind of technical devices. That enables them to perform challenging activities of daily life. The Cybertron is an international competition. We have teams from 25 different countries. We have six disciplines focusing on different kinds of technologies and people with disabilities. Team Cleveland is an amazing team. As far as I know, they're the only participants who come with a pilot with an implanted system. We have four pilots participating from the company Ursula from Iceland. They're participating in the prosthetic race and they are even the first company who were selling powered prosthetic devices. We have also the company Rewalk participating with a team from Berlin, Germany. They were one of the first companies being on the market selling that exoskeletal technology. That's why they are a favorite in the discipline of exoskeletal race. Touch Bionics is a company who will come participating in the arm prosthetics race. And um, they are developing robotic hands which can perform very dexterous and skilled tasks which we also have designed at the Sabathlon. And um, it doesn't matter if the teams come from companies or from research labs or even if it's a private person who's building up and assembling things in, in their garage. People must be qualified to develop and bring technology which is reliable, which is safe, which functions. The pilots in the races are the participating persons who are using or varying technical aids. And they're called pilots because they're controlling the device. It's quite similar to Formula One where you also have pilots. They need the car to be fast and to participate in the race, but they're controlling it. They need to be trained. The Sabaton will be held at the Swiss Arena in Kloten, which is uh, in Zurich. The Swiss Arena is a large indoor stadium. We have 74 teams, we have 600 helpers and a large audience up to 6,000 people watching the games. Primarily it should benefit the people with disabilities in the long run. Through the development of better technologies, they can benefit in the daily life. In the short run, they can also benefit because they're happy to participate, to be in the center, to try to be the winner. The, the Sabathlon is similar to the Olympics in this regard that it's a competition. They're preparing, they're training together with the technical teams. At the Paralympics, as well as the Olympics, it's a goal to find the best trained athletes who can perform fastest and also who are the strongest. At the Cybertron, it's to find the best pilots who are able to control technology for the improvement of the daily life tasks. And by this, we bring together the people without disabilities, but also with disabilities. We are bringing together the developers, also targeting the funding agencies, the health insurances, and um, we are opening new questions. So the discussions are going on not only about technology, but also about acceptance of people with disability in the general public. The biggest challenge for me was really to convince people that this is a serious event which might attract the teams to come. Not only to come, but also to sit down in the lab with the engineers and with their pilots to develop something novel or to fine-tune and polish something which was existing already. And now I'm happy that all of them came. There will be many surprises. There will be live broadcasts. People can watch it on the internet and live television. We have big plans for further events. So Cyberland won't end. It will go on. I'm excited that people in all over the world are so curious. It addresses and, and, and makes people so active to somehow participate and get to know more. In this way, we want to start a movement.